subscribe to James and Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. My baby! Where are my Prehysteria. What's going on, guys? James here to bring another video, and yes, I am doing a good movie Saturday. It's been a while since I've done one. Like I said, I want these to be special when I do them, and um, yeah. So, for this movie, it's kind of close to my heart. If you saw the beginning clip, you already know what it is. It's called Prehysteria. If you don't know what it is, Prehysteria is a movie that came out in 1993, around the same time Jurassic Park came out. Or shortly after. I think Jurassic Park was a summer release. Uh, the, the first one. The first Jurassic Park. Which is another one of my favorite movies. And this movie, I watched a ton as a kid. And growing up. And I just watched this recently. And I thought, I should do a good movie about this. A review about this. Because it's one of the things that influenced me to do film. And one of the reasons why I want to do my channel. So Yeah. Like I said, it's called Prehysteria, made in 1993. There are two people that it that did it. Let me just double check the names real quick. I have it pulled up. Albert Band and Charles Band, they're brothers that did it. And there's no, um, there is no um budget for this movie, as you will see from the clips that I picked out that are my favorite clips. I'm gonna talk about the story. So, it's about this family that discover they have a group of like the most famous kind of dinosaurs in their basement that a dog, you know, hatches. It's gonna sound ridiculous when I'm saying it out loud, but um, yeah, that's not like the full story. Like um, this guy goes to this um paleontologist guy goes to um uh some country I forget the name of because it's been a, a couple of days since I watched it. And now I'm making this video because I got the time to, but um. He goes there, steals the artifacts, which are the eggs, and the dog finds them, hatches them, and the family finds them, and that's pretty much the movie. And then the the guy that f takes the eggs is pretty much the bad guy. The guy you saw that was wondering where the eggs are, that was screaming in the vi beginning of the video. So yeah, um, with that, um, this is again, this is one of my favorites. It's close to home for me. I used to watch this over and over. I'm one of those people that. I will rewatch anything like that I like. I've had Star Wars marathon days. I've had um, Jurassic Park marathon days. But like, yeah, um, I've had Infinity. I just did my first um, Infinity War and Endgame back to back viewing because I got Endgame on digital. Uh, so yeah. Um, so with that, um, let me show you all the favorite scenes that I like from this movie, or the ones that I think are the craziest scenes. I should say. And um, I will be right back. See you all in a second, everyone. Don't you joker sneak up on me like that again. You hear me? You hear me? I didn't hear that. Maybe they put something in my Gatorade. Nah. The little savages wouldn't have the guts. So yeah, the fucking dog got the cooler open and started th thinking to itself, I'm gonna lay some fucking eggs. I know golden retrievers are smart, but um, hatching eggs smart can only spend, well again, this is like made for kids. So when I was rewatching it, there were a lot of adult jokes in there too, so it's half-half. But um, yeah, I, I actually really like the bad guy in this movie compared to the other two. And um... I might do a good movie Saturday for the other two one one of these days, but um, I gotta have the next one planned. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna release it because, like I said, I want these to be special. But um, yeah, I just wanted to get this one uploaded and released this weekend. So yeah, um, sorry about the quality being so bad. Again, it was the '90s, like 
the image isn't that fine, but, like, I got the image as big as I could, because in the 90s they had those, like, cut in half, and that's all you get. And that's how I watched it. But yeah, like I said, this was one of my favorite movies of, of all time. And re-watching it made me feel nostalgic for being a kid again. Um, I'm pretty much going to end it there. It's a pretty short Good Movie Saturday. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen it already, um, I posted a Carolina Reaper Challenge video. And I did a, my first unboxing for I got the Jeffy Puppet. So, if you don't want to watch this, but you are, but if you are watching this, I can't talk. Go and check those out if you're interested. If not, I'm going to end it there. This is James saying, please like and subscribe for more. James saying, peace. I'll let Brandon Rogers take it from here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Um, I just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.